Within meme culture, Garfield has ascended to legend. He has become so twisted, so mutated and different to his original portrayal that he is now something that delivers a sense of unease with his very presence. And now there's an entire Twitter account titled Deflated Garfield that creates comics with the image of Deflated Garfield as the last panel every time, and it works. It would appear the earliest instance of a Deflated Garfield panel being uploaded and recognised as a meme, however, was on October 6th this year when Twitter user Otogari posted the panel with the caption, losing my fucking mind over this image. The original strip itself came from artist Jim Davis in 1993, 15 years after he debuted Garfield in 1978. Although, upon observing the original comic, it becomes clear that Garfield has been photoshopped out of the third panel within the memes. The deflated Garfield memes rest on the shoulders of a long, deep and complex history of Garfield being satirised and parodied due to its inability to remain a funny comic over time. Although it's likely people have been parodying Garfield for many years, the debut of Lasagna Cat in 2007 truly began its spiral into bizarre and absurd places, with a surreal live-action rendition that criticised the comic's bland humour. Then, of course, you have Garfield minus Garfield, which debuted in 2008, which cut the cap from the comics and instead focused on John talking to himself. This works so well because in reality, John wouldn't be able to really talk to his cat. Anyone around him would just see him talking to himself, and some of the things he says and does are quite weird. So, as you can see, Garfield has always fielded a divisive reaction from his fans. On one hand, you have people who love him on the basest level. For his comics and movies, which never get political or stimulate people intellectually, but are just sort of... comfort food. Which is ultimately fine. If you need the equivalent of comfort food in your life, like Garfield, to relax and unwind, then go for it. On the other hand, you have people who love him for his comics and movies, but for a different reason. It's because, on an inherent level, Garfield and the characters around him are really weird due to their inability to change over time. They've had the same problems, the same jokes, and the same aura since 1978. And that weird sense of immortality gets a lot of people in meme culture really creatively juiced up. Any panel depicting Garfield as dead is bound to capture the interest of those who have seen him alive for so long, which is why we've had a surge in memes specifically depicting the orange fat cat as dead, or at least bizarrely withered to a deflated husk. What meme would you guys like me to give a lesson in next? Let me know in the comments below. And remember, like and subscribe! <laughs>